Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another experiment in Schedule One. My name is Savin, founder, president, and CEO of The Syndicate. We are back with Jesse and Amanda here at the barn, and this time around, we are welcoming a brand new employee. We have Richard, or as we like to call him here in The Syndicate, Dick. Today, we're going to see if one botanist can produce enough coca leaves to keep our our chemist running. So let's head inside and I will show you the setup for today's experiment. And this is what we are working with today, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, I've got eight air pots using the full spectrum grow lights. We have two cauldrons and two lab ovens, and we have one brick press. So Richard is going to be growing our coca seeds into coca leaves. He's going to be using the fertilizer additive. These four here, these four pots on the right are going to be feeding into this cauldron and these four pots over here on the left are going to be feeding into this cauldron and then of course the cauldrons are set up to the lab ovens which are set up to the brick press so Richard has his eight pots and Jesse has his two cauldrons and his two lab ovens and Amanda will be bricking up the final product in the brick press. Amanda will also be keeping Dick nice and stocked up. So Dick has a primary storage shelf right here with a backup here. Amanda's gonna be taking stuff from the backup to refill the main storage shelf. And then Amanda's also going to be taking the final product and moving it on down the line once everything gets bricked up and good to go. So the point of today's experiment is to see if one botanist can actually produce enough coca leaves to keep our chemist continually working. We'll also see if an eight pot setup is too many pots. And maybe the botanist can run with a few less pots in order to keep the chemist fully stocked up. Like all of the other coca seed and coca leaf experiments we've done, we are gonna let this run for five days. At the end of day five, once again, we'll take a look at our cauldron. We'll see if there are leaves left in there. And we'll also take a look at our storage shelf and see, uh, see how much we have produced over that five day period. So that's what we're working with today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go motivate the troops and we will get this party started. Jesse, Amanda, welcome back. You guys are pros at this, but I wanna say, Dick, welcome to the party. We've got five days of hard work ahead of us. So I want you guys to get your three hours of sleep in the morning. We're going to get up and get to work and it's going to be a blast, baby. So get in there, do your best. Let's get to it. Tomorrow. It is the morning of day one, ladies and gentlemen. The workers are hard at work. We're gonna sit back and let them do their thing. And I will break back in once I see the first cauldron being used. So hang tight. Here it is about 2.30 on day two. And look at there, Jesse has finally got his first cauldron going. Now he's gotta sit back and see if Richard can keep up. Keep working, Dick, let's keep this going. And it is nine o'clock on day two, ladies and gentlemen, and we have already run into our first issue. You'll see that Jesse just finished up the first cauldron on the right and he placed it into the lab oven. However, we do not have enough coca leaves in the cauldron in order to keep that rolling. So it looks like we're gonna let this run for a few more days, but it looks like we have our answer already that no, it 
doesn't look like one botanist can produce enough coca leaves in order to keep up with the chemist. We're gonna let this roll a little bit longer, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see. A few moments later. And it is midnight, ladies and gentlemen, same day. We have the exact same problem. You take a look, Jesse just got the second lab oven done, but the cauldron is not running. I think we can definitively say as of right now that no, one botanist is not enough to keep one chemist fully loaded and able to continuously produce. So I think we're going to rearrange things a little bit. We're gonna bring on a little bit more help and and uh, we're gonna see if two botanists can do the job. So hang tight, let me get reset, and we'll get back to it. Everything has been reset, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna start this experiment again. And as you can see in the background there, Richard has brought aboard his twin brother, Jacob. Jacob is going to be our second botanist. So let me head inside and I will show you the reset experiment. And this is what we are working with now, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, I have two botanist setups, eight AirPods, eight full spectrum lights for each. They are gonna be running their setups and each of the botanist setups is tagged to one cauldron. So over here, we've got eight pots all being fed to this cauldron. Then again, the cauldron to the lab oven and to the brick press. Same thing on this side, we've got eight air pots right here all feeding this cauldron to the lab oven and then to the brick press. Behind each of the setups, we've got a primary storage rack and a backup storage rack. So our handler's gonna be taking the backup stuff and refilling the primary storage rack. And the same thing on this side as well, primary storage rack backup. So the backup to the primary by the handler. And then back here, we've got our final product rack. So the handler will be bricking up the product putting it on the shelf and then moving it on down the line. Both Jacob and Richard are going to be using the coca seeds and fertilizer additive. We're gonna let this run for probably about five days or until we get enough data that we know that yes, two botanists can or no, two botanists cannot keep these cauldrons filled. So all that is left to do is motivate the troops. Then we'll head to bed and get this party started once again. Jesse, Amanda, and Dick, let's all welcome aboard Jacob, our brand new botanist. We're gonna get this party started once again. So I want you guys in the morning, give me your best. Jacob, welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I want you to work your butt off for me, buddy. Amanda, great job. Let's get to it. J Richard, good to see you, man. And Jesse, good to see you. So in the morning, we're gonna get our three hours of sleep. We're gonna get up and we're gonna get this party started once again. Let's get to it. Tomorrow. Morning time is upon us. The botanists have already gotten to work. We're gonna sit back, let them do their thing, and I will check back in with you folks just as soon as the cauldrons start running. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11 a.m. on day two, and there it is. Jesse is finally hard at work. We've got both cauldrons filled up finally, so we're gonna let them do their thing. And now let's see if two botanists can keep up. So far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. The first round of the cauldrons is done. Jesse's gone ahead and moved the product into the lab oven. And as you see, the cauldron on the right is running once again, right after finishing up. So far, so good. Let's keep this running and we will check in later. There 
there's the end of day two, ladies and gentlemen. So far, so good. Everything is still running. I think we're going to do like we normally do with these longer experiments. We're going to check in on day at the end of day three, four, and five to uh, check our result. And it looks like so far, so good. So let's keep rolling. Day three. It is the morning of day three, ladies and gentlemen. Our workers are back at it. Let's kick back, watch them do their thing. We'll check in at the end of day three. We've reached the end of day three. Let's go ahead and do this quick. Let's hop down and see what we've got so far. And then we'll head to bed for day three. So far, we've got four bricks of product going. Our cauldrons and our ovens are ready to still rock, rocking and rolling. So let's head to bed and get started for day four. Day four. It is the morning of day four, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody is up and at them, getting ready to work. Let's sit back, let them do their thing, and we will keep tabs on the progress. And we've reached the end of day four, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hop down and take a look at our results. And we are up to seven bricks. Very nice. Now, technically, I guess this would be the third day of the experiment because things really started kicking off on day two. We're going to let it go another day and we will get our final results tomorrow. Tomorrow. It is the morning of day five, ladies and gentlemen. Our workers are back at it. Let's sit back, let them do their thing. We'll check in with them at the end of the day. have reached the end of day five, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hop down and take a look at our results and see how things panned out. So over the five days, we have produced 10 bricks for a total of 200 cocaine. That is about in line with our results from our first chemist experiment where we were producing roughly 50 cocaine per day. So this, uh, this result is roughly in line with that, which is nice. Let's go take a quick peek at the cauldrons to see if there are still coca leaves in there. And as you can see, actually, yes, it is completely stocked the botanists are able to keep up and it looks like two botanists might actually be more than you would actually need since there's very very little room left in the cauldron there's a chance that two might be a little bit of overkill but to answer the question yes two botanists are enough to keep one chemist going and if we take a look at the other cauldron we see the exact same thing if you want your cauldrons to be continually moving you need to put a botanist on each one so one botanist per cauldron or two botanists per chemist another experiment in the books ladies and gentlemen let's go thank the troops and we will wrap this bad boy up ladies and gentlemen once again excellent excellent work we have all the results that we need got a bunch of really good data i just want to say thank you so so much to each of you jesse Excellent job, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Amanda, great job, Amanda. As always, you did a bang up, bang up job. Thank you, Amanda. Richard, good to see you, man. Thank you very much, Dick. You did great work. Great work, Dick. And Jacob, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The answer to the question, one botanist is not enough in order to keep a chemist rolling. You need at least two 
two botanists in order to keep your chemist fully loaded and able to produce continuously. And it does seem that maybe two is a little bit of overkill. So I might do another experiment in the future. We'll add in one more botanist and one more chemist and see if we can maybe do three botanists and three stations and try to narrow down exactly how many pots it actually does take in order to continuously keep those cauldrons running. But that is an experiment for a future day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any ideas of other experiments you'd like to see me run in Schedule 1, hop on down to the comments and let me know what you'd like to see. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and keep on grinding.